Imagine this, you're applying for a loan to buy your dream house, but you're turned down because of your credit score. Yes, that's right. The three-digit number that's often overlooked can indeed have a significant impact on your life. In the world we're living in today, a good credit score is not just a nice to have, but an absolute necessity. Now what is a credit score? Simply put, it's a numerical expression of your credit worthiness, based on an analysis of your credit files. Lenders use it to determine the likelihood of you repaying your debts. A good credit score can open doors for you. It can help you secure a mortgage for your dream home, get a loan for that car you've been eyeing, or even rent a swanky apartment in the city. However, maintaining a good credit score can often feel like juggling balls while riding a unicycle. It's tricky, and it's not uncommon to face challenges along the way. For instance, you might find yourself grappling with high interest rates because of a low credit score. Or perhaps, you're struggling to get approved for a credit card. Even something as simple as setting up utilities at a new residence can become a Herculean task without a good credit score. And let's not forget about the job opportunities you might miss out on. Yes, you heard that right. Some employers check credit reports during the hiring process, so a poor credit score can potentially hinder your career growth. But don't despair. Yes, it's challenging, but it's not impossible. With the right strategies and a little bit of discipline, you can navigate the credit score conundrum. Remember, your credit score is not set in stone. It's a dynamic number that changes as your financial behavior changes. So, every financial decision you make, every bill you pay or fail to pay, impacts your credit score. So, you see, maintaining a good credit score is not just about financial health, but it also impacts your lifestyle choices. It's like having a key to various doors of opportunities. And who wouldn't want that? But what exactly is a credit score and how does it work? I'm glad you asked. A credit score is like a financial report card, a three-digit number that lenders use to determine how likely you are to repay your debts. To calculate this score, credit bureaus consider five main factors. The first is your payment history. Simply put, do you pay your bills on time? This accounts for about 35% of your score. The second factor is the amount you owe, which makes up about 30% of your score. This is not just about how much debt you have, but also, how much of your available credit you're using. It's what we call your credit utilization ratio. The length of your credit history is the third factor making up 15% of your score. The longer you've been responsibly managing credit, the better. The fourth factor is your credit mix, which makes up 10% of your score. This refers to the types of credit you have, like credit cards, mortgages, or student loans. A mix of different types of credit can actually be beneficial. The final factor, also at 10%, is new credit. Applying for a lot of new credit in a short time can hurt your score, as it may suggest you're in financial trouble. Now let's talk about credit score ranges. The most commonly used credit scores range from 300 to 850. A score below 600 is considered poor, while a score between 600 and 700 is fair. A score between 700 and 800 is good and a score above 800 is excellent. Remember, these ranges can vary between credit bureaus and different lenders may have different standards, but no matter what, a higher score is always better. It can help you qualify for better interest rates, save money, and give you more financial freedom. Understanding your credit score is the first step towards improving it, so stick around as we dive deeper into the world of credit. And hey, if you're finding this information helpful, do consider giving us a like and subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us bring more content like this to you. Now that you know what a credit score is, how can you improve it? Let's delve into the world of credit building, where small, consistent actions can yield substantial results. The journey to a strong credit score is not an overnight success story. It's more like a marathon where endurance and strategy are key. Firstly, let's discuss the importance of paying your bills on time. This sounds simple, right? Yet many find this fundamental step challenging. Whether it's your utility bill, rent, or credit card payment, paying on time reflects positively on your credit history. It's like clockwork. Every timely payment strengthens your credit score. Now let's talk about credit card balances. An important rule of thumb is to keep your credit card balances low. This rule is closely linked to your credit utilization ratio, which is the percentage of your available credit that you're using. A lower ratio is better for your credit score. To maintain a low credit utilization ratio, Try not to max out your credit cards and pay off balances in full when possible. Next stop, unnecessary credit inquiries. Each time you apply for credit, a credit inquiry is recorded on your credit report. Too many inquiries in a short period can make you seem risky to lenders and could hurt your credit score. 
Therefore, apply for new credit sparingly and only when necessary. An often overlooked strategy is to diversify your credit. Having a mix of credit types such as a mortgage, auto loan, and credit cards can positively impact your credit score. However, remember to manage them wisely. Lastly, don't forget about old credit. If you have credit cards that you hardly use, don't close them. The length of your credit history matters, and older credit accounts contribute to a longer credit history. So, there you have it. The secrets to building a strong credit score. It's about paying your bills on time, keeping your credit balances low, avoiding unnecessary credit inquiries, diversifying your credit, and preserving old credit. It may seem like a lot, but with time and consistency, you will see your credit score climb. Remember, building a good credit score takes time and consistency. But it's not just about building a credit score, it's also about protecting it. Imagine your credit score as a castle. You've painstakingly built it, stone by stone over time. Now, it's time to guard it. Vigilance is key. Regularly checking your credit reports is akin to keeping a watchful eye on the horizon. Errors can creep in unnoticed, like stealthy invaders, and can cause damage if not spotted and addressed promptly. To check your credit report, you don't need to hire a spy or a scout, you can do it yourself for free at least once a year. When you do, scrutinize every detail. If you spot any inaccuracies, don't ignore them. Challenge them. It's your right, and it's simpler than you might think. Now let's talk about new credit. Exciting as it may be to get a new credit card or loan, be cautious. Each new line of credit is like opening a new gate in your castle wall. It's another potential point of vulnerability. So think carefully before you apply. Ask yourself, do I really need this? Can I afford it? Remember, it's not just about getting credit, it's about managing it wisely. Finally, let's discuss closing credit cards. It may seem like a good idea like shutting a gate to keep invaders out. But remember, part of your credit score is based on the length of your credit history. Closing an old card can shorten that history and potentially lower your score. It's not a decision to be taken lightly. So, there you have it. Protecting your credit score is about vigilance, caution, and understanding. It's about knowing when to open new credit, when to close old credit, and how to check your credit reports. Guard your credit score like a precious asset because that's what it is. Like a castle, it's not just about building it. It's about protecting it, maintaining it, and ensuring it stands strong, now and in the future. So, why go through all this trouble to build and protect your credit score? You may ask. Well, a strong credit score is a powerful tool that can open a multitude of doors for you. It's not just about numbers on a screen, but the opportunities these numbers can unfold. Imagine having the power to negotiate better interest rates. With a good credit score, lenders see you as a trustworthy borrower, which means they're more likely to offer you lower interest rates on loans and credit cards. This can save you a significant amount of money over the long run, and it doesn't stop there. A strong credit score can also lead to higher credit limits. Your credit limit is the maximum amount a lender is willing to let you borrow. With a higher credit limit, you have more financial flexibility and it can also improve your credit score even further as long as you manage it responsibly. Now let's talk about the power of negotiation. When you have a strong credit score, it gives you a bargaining chip. You can leverage your good credit to negotiate lower interest rates or even waive certain fees. It's like having a VIP pass in the world of finance. And there's more. A good credit score can make it easier for you to get approved for rentals and loans. Whether you're looking to rent a swanky apartment in the city or applying for a mortgage to buy your dream home, a good credit score can make the process smoother and faster. In essence, a good credit score is your ticket to financial freedom. It gives you more options, more flexibility, and more power in your financial dealings. It's a key that can unlock a world of opportunities. So, are you ready to harness the power of credit? Remember to like and subscribe for more tips on building and maintaining a robust credit score. A good credit score is more than just a number, it's your ticket to financial freedom.